guys. So yes, we're going to go through how to set up the wallet. Um, I'll quickly go through Pivx. So to explain, it's a privacy coin. Uh, there's a lot on the market at the moment. Uh, it's got a lot of competitors. Verge is also coming up. It's had quite a bull run recently. Um, Zcash, Monero. Monero has really taken off. Um, so expect a, a big pullback on that. Um, so that'll come down soon. Something you could look at. But for today, we're looking at Pivx, uh, which is a proof of stake coin. So that allows you to earn some passive in income if you are one of those investors that uh, is going to put a lot into it. You will generate Pivx just by holding it. Um, and you don't really need to have a, a great computer. You don't need a, an expensive GPU to do that. Um, the laptop I'm using today, very old. Um, that is going to be just keeping my Pivx online. You need to have your Pivx online and connected to the network for staking. To, uh, to be working, that's not made very clear. And the wallet itself is not very simple. Um, so if you are confused once you've downloaded the wallet and it's, your staking is not working, um, that's very common. So don't feel like you've missed a step. But I'll go through it all and we'll, we'll get that all set up um, very soon. So on the website, you can, get, you can go through it. There's the white paper that you can view for all the technical uh, details. It is a great privacy coin um, compared to the others on the market. It's really, on the technical side, it's superior. The wallet, however, it does have a lot of issues, which I'm sure the devs are going to work on. It's going to improve over time, which is why I've invested a small amount into this coin. It's definitely one to keep an eye on. It could shoot off fairly soon. If we look at the price first, okay, sitting at $3.38. If you look at the, the market cap, it it has got room to grow. It did have a bit of a bull run uh, to three dollars eighty, um, so it's in a small, small pullback at the moment. But I definitely see this one taking off in the future. Um, you know, mid year next year could be at ten dollars. With the hype of privacy, you never know. Uh, it's it's worth a punt. So definitely, if you you've got a few pivots, let's go ahead and get them staking. So even if it doesn't really shoot off, you'll still have earned just by holding. Alright, so yes, you can use a shitty laptop. Um, you don't need a huge GPU since no calculations are going to be actually happening. Um, that is a plus. Um, the only downside is yes, you have to have the, the laptop on, connected, uh, for the staking to be working. Unlike Neo, you can actually have that in a cold paper wallet, uh, which is probably a better choice if you're just looking to invest um, in, rather than keep your money in a bank. If you go into Neo, it is down at the moment. Also, really nice time to buy at, at about twenty to twenty five dollars. Neo can be an offline investment and you'll you'll receive gas. Um, very similar to Pivx, both proof of stake. But going down to the actual uh, wallet, you'll need to download it from the website or from GitHub. That'll work as well. Um, definitely just select the uh, operating system that you were using. So I'm using Windows 64 bit. We'll go ahead and download that. If you're using a Mac, obviously get the uh, DMG. <clears throat> so once you've clicked on that uh, file, you've downloaded the EXE. We've downloaded it before. We grab it again. You'll need to go through the setup. You'll need to uh, select a drive that has at least one gig space. Now that is going to grow. So I know most of you are going to have more than one gig space, but um, definitely just have uh, a bit of space saved because it will grow when the blockchain grows. Um, just keep that in mind. It'll also have to um, to download the blockchain, and that's going to take a few hours. So um, we'll get to that in a moment. So you can read through this. You can make a, a, de a default one if you really want, or just use a, a custom one if you want, or you can keep the default. I'll keep the default, um, keep it simple. You can allow the access. This will take some time, so if you are planning on doing this quickly, the blockchain will take a few hours to download, so you can go ahead and watch some TV or even just kick the footy, whatever you want to do.
Okay, there's the wallet. It's just brought it up. Now, of course, it's going to start out of sync. Um, that's the first thing that you're going to see. Um, down here at the bottom, you're going to see it's synchronizing with the network. So that is going to take a long time. As you can see, it's going to be one year and 31 weeks behind. So you can imagine that's going to take some time. Um, so I might just put the video on hold and we'll come back once that's done and uh, we'll get straight back into the video. Three weeks later. And we're back. Okay, so now that your blockchain has completely downloaded um, and your wallet is completely synced, it'll tell you at the bottom um, that should take just a few hours. It took me about three or four. Um, now I recorded the first half probably two weeks ago, um, so bear with me. I might actually repeat myself. Apologies if I do. Uh, but let's get back into it. So your wallet should look something like this. Um, you'll probably notice that I've actually sent just one piv PIVX across, uh, but we'll get to that in just a moment. The first thing that you'd want to do is to back up your newly created PIVX wallet. Uh, to do so, you just want to go to File uh, and then Backup Wallet. Uh, very simple, and then select where you want to save that uh, wallet.dat file. Um, So I'm just going to save it to the desktop, very simple. And then you'd want to put that onto a, a hard drive or a USB, um, something that you're going to be able to save for the next couple of years, hopefully. Um, so save, then you get the message, uh, PIVX Corp successfully backed up, which is what you want to see. Uh, there's a second way of doing it as well. Um, if you want to go into your directory, you'll find that it is located in your C drive under users, the account that you're logged in as uh, in app data, roaming, and then in PIVX. You'll find right there, wallet.dat. Uh, that's the file that you need to copy. Uh, that is everything. That's basically uh, where your PIVX is stored. It's got your private key in it. Um, that is everything. So do not lose it. Make sure you've got a copy. Um, but I think if I go back, app data. Okay, app data, yes, it's going to be hidden. So just make sure that you've got hidden items ticked. Um, and you'll be just fine. So again, app data, it was roaming, and then PIVX. Very easy, very simple. They're the two ways you can back up your wallet. Okay, so after that, what we'll want to do is is get ready for staking. I think that's the next step. Uh, so if you want to go into uh, open wallet configuration file, bang, okay, right there. I've already typed it in. That is the list of or commands that you need to type into it, the text file um, that, you, that you're going to appear. It's going to open empty for you. Um, I'll put all this into the description. All you need to do is copy it and paste it into your f text file. Um, just go ahead and change your password and use it. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You can do whatever you want. Um, so I'll just exit out of that. Um, so again, that was under open wallet configuration file, which will automatically open a text file. If it doesn't, um, just select the text file and then put it in. So copy and paste. Super simple for that. That is for staking. So that'll be staking, which will then generate PIVX just for, for holding PIVX. Um, that's useful. Uh, probably uh, the next thing that I want to discuss is is your public key. So if uh, you want a friend to send you PIVX, um, you're going to want to know where to send it to. So click on receiving address. That was under file. Receiving address right there. Uh, you can right click and copy address. You can give that to as many people as you want. Hey, can you pay me in PIVX? Here's my address. Show them that. Now all public addresses are going to start with the capital D. So right there, D. So that is something useful to know. Um, all receiving, oh, I'm sorry, all private addresses are going to start with a Y. So that's your private. You don't want to give that to anyone. Um, private is basically your login, uh, your password. Um, now, to uh, actually see your private, um, which I only recommend users that know what they're doing um, to access the private key. For everyone else, you can ignore this next step, but to actually find out what your private key is, since it's not actually given to you through the wallet, you'll have to go into your debug console. Uh, the command to find your private key is dump private key. And right there, um, and then you'll just need to type in your public address, which started with the D, da 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 da, whatever it was. Super simple, super simple. Um, again, I only recommend that to people who know what they're doing, since if that is somehow disclosed, if someone finds out your 
private key, then your PIVX will be lost or stolen, essentially. Um, sorry, if I go back into Div on console, I'll also show you um, import, import, private key. That is another useful command that you'd want to know. Again, import private key. That is to say, if you have stored your private key, you haven't stored the dat file for some reason, you've just wanted to store the private key, um, you've, you've got it, you've printed it off as that string of letters, um, so as a paper uh, paper wallet, which is very useful, it's very safe if you want to go with the paper wallet option, um, you've only got the private key. You know, three years later down the track, you've got the private key, you want to import it in, that's the command you need. So import private key and then type in your private address, uh, which is starting with a Y. But I recommend you um, save your wallet.dat file since it's easier. Um, just remember the password that uh, you've encrypted it with. So that is the option to encrypt. Uh, so we'll go over that next. So click that to encrypt your wallet, which is essentially giving it another layer of security. Um, that is adding a password to it. So if someone does manage to get a copy of your wallet.dat file, um, or even your private key, they'll have to get the password for it as well. Um, so super, super uh, necessary. You want to get that done. Now I've already got my encryption on it. So if you click on that, it'll just simply ask you for the password. Uh, you'll just need to put it in. Um, I can change mine. I'll just need to put it in, but I won't do that for now. I'll just, just need to show you guys how to do it. So again, settings, encrypt wallet. Make sure you do that. So make sure, make sure you back up your wallet.that and make sure you encrypt it, the two main things. And then as an option, you can also find your private key and store that as a paper wallet if you'd like. Perfect, so that's the basics uh, all sorted. The next step we want to do is staking. So I've just sent through my PIVX. I've sent through one. Uh, and as you'll notice, uh, I've sent through two transactions. So the first one was just a test which is something that you always want to do when sending through uh, cryptocurrencies. I like to always send a test amount, a very small, minuscule amount, um, and then send through my full amount once the first uh, transaction was successful, of course. Um, so you can see I sent through a small amount and then I sent through my whole PIVX. So that's come through, so we're sitting with one PIVX at the moment. Now, for staking to work, you need that amount of PIVX to go through 101 confirmations. Uh, so that isn't made very clear, so if any of you have, have got your PIVX, you're waiting for it and it's just not happening, um, it's probably because you haven't received the 101 confirmations. Um, so if I go to this one, if you hover over it, normally it works, hover over this one, oh, if you click on it, ho hover over the tick, you can see it's got 59 confirmations, uh, so that hasn't reached 101 just yet. So we're not going to be able to stake just yet. Um, I'll have to cut to when that's all complete. But if I go to this one, I sent this through yesterday, or a while ago. So that's nearly got 7,000 confirmations. Um, so that's, well, that would be ready to stake. Yeah, but if you hover over it, now it's at 61. So they go through very quickly. So just have patience, um, and you'll, you'll keep an eye on that to see if you've reached 101. Um, and what you'll also need to do is unlock your wallet. So going back up here, unlock and you type in the password. If I can remember it. Uh, and you'll need to click this for anon anonymization and staking only. Um, that needs to be ticked. So hopefully that's clear. Perfect. And if you hover down here, wallet is encrypted and currently unlocked for anonymization and staking only, which is what you want. Perfect. Um, you can also hover over a few of these so you can see it's synchronized, which is something you'll also need, um, and it's up to date. If it's not synchronized, you'll see at the bottom um, that it's in process of being synced. That's easy to look at. So that's basically all set up and ready. We just need patience for that 101 confirmations, now it's 63, to come through. Uh, but what I'll also mention is this button. Uh, start obscurication, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, so to do that, that is, uh, I believe, uh, just a simple uh, function to try to hide your transactions even further. I mean, it is a private coin, so your transactions are going to be incredibly uh, hard to trace. Uh, but if you want to use obscurication, that's going to take it another level. 
but I believe you need 14.9 uh, PIVX as a minimum uh, to do so. So there you go, 14.9 is required. That is something I think they, they're going to remove and make it um, the standard for all transactions. I'm not too sure about that, so don't quote me. But that is just another function that PIVX provides. Um, but besides that, we're all done. We're ready to stake. We'll just need the 101 confirmations. One thing I just forgot to mention uh, was the reward system. So I've got here the, the PIVX calculator that can calculate how much PIVX you'll receive through staking. Um, and I'll put the link in the description below for anyone that's interested. Um, so as you can see here, you can choose your currency. We'll stick with um, US for the moment. And you can put in how much PIVX you own. I put in 5,000. Um, and then it gives you a bit of information, but the main key points um, is the reward that you'll receive and how often. So if you've got 5,000 PIVX, you'll receive $6.60 US cents every 2.74 days. Um, so nearly three, every three days. Um, and it gives you the monthly as well, which is about $72.23 US dollars a month um, for staking. You'll need to, to compare this with your electricity costs. Um, so you need to keep that in mind, what is going to be profitable. If you don't have that many PIVX, you'll find that it's really not going to be very viable. So if you have a thousand, um, you're only going to be receiving $14.45 a month. Um, and with electricity costs, especially in Australia, that's not really going to be worth it. Um, however, if you do have 10,000, which is a fair bit, you will have the choice of running a master node, which will definitely increase uh, your profits. You'll receive $144 just through staking, plus $120 a month running that master node. So that is probably something that you should do if you have over 10,000 PIVX um, for those that are heavy investors. So hopefully that gives you a bit of insight. Um, again, the, description, the, the link is in the description. You can check it out. Um, but yeah, we'll move on. And we're back. Um, so basically, as I just ended before, um, it took about five seconds and then it went green and staking is active. Um, and that's basically it, guys. That is it. That is the PIVX wallet, all um, all wrapped up, the PIVX 101. Hopefully that was made simple, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Uh, I tried making the, the key points as quick as possible. Um, if I have missed something, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to um, add it into another video, or I'll um, favorite the comments so that everyone else can see. But thanks for watching, um, I'll hope to do more wallet reviews uh, in the future. Um, I haven't really given this wallet a review. So for today, I suppose the Pivx wallet, um, slightly confusing, but all in all, if you know what you're doing, it is, it's really one of the better um, privacy coins, and the wallet really um, reflects that. So I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5 if I were to give it a, a score, but um, hopefully it does catch up to Monero. Uh, give it a year or two, it's probably going to be one of the main privacy players. But um, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.